I didn't go all the way. Perfect. Hello, welcome to another video. Yes, it's been a while. I took a little break, okay? Hear me out, hear me out. So I did the whole seven day thing, recorded seven days every day, a different photo shoot. Edit all the photos. I am tired of it. I just, it wasn't, it wasn't fun. It was a lot of stress and I actually lost subscribers from doing that because my videos weren't that good and most of them only got like 30 views. Tried to edit all the videos on time and clearly I wasn't doing very good because I suck ass. You can see the little light on the side, by the way, but it's giving me more light, so I like the way it looks, so you gotta fucking deal with it. So as I was at Target, looking through the electronic section, door, you'll make a lot of noise when you walk. I was in the electronic section, looking around the clearance section, and then I looked, and they had a tablet on there, and I was like, video idea right now and the tablet was like eighty dollars i believe and it was on sale so it was like uh and so then i was like i should have gotten in the phone because that's what i wanted to get and that's what we're talking about today right here this is a thirty dollar phone it is good it is fucking good for thirty dollars it was a hundred and it was on sale for thirty dollars if you guys don't know my daily phone is the iphone 6s and i had the samsung s8 i still have it but i'm selling that one because i saw this one and it caught my attention i was like if it's good if it's good like i gotta sell my other one because all i ever use an android phone now is to watch movies for free all right it's a new day my camera died halfway through recording so i figured i would just start all over so i'm gonna talk about the specs and what you get in the box and then i'll do the bad things because there's not that many and then i'll talk about the good things about the phone and all that It'll be a very thorough review because i want to make sure you guys know how good this phone is in case you're looking for a phone on a budget so right here the thing that caught my attention the most is the box if you look at it it changes color and that's actually a very good reason why so let's talk about what you get in the box you get the phone itself cable three more different background colors white red blue you get a case a power brick car mount a microfiber cloth you get a glass protector but if you're like me, you'll drop the glass protector while you're putting it and ruin it and scratch it and won't be able to use it. You also get earbuds. This is how it looks with the red one. So as you can see, you can change it and it looks really cool. I like the way the red looks. It matches my outfit too. Overall, I think it's a very good package for $30. You get a bunch of things and I like how they include a case and a glass protector because they probably know that not many people know about this phone. Not many companies do. So they're providing it with the accessories you need to be able to use it. Let's talk about some specs. So you get a 5 inch HD display, it's rocking like 720p, it's rocking a 13 megapixel on the back and a 8 megapixel on the front. I will talk about the camera later on. Now for all you super nerdy people that love your quads and your gears and, and I don't even know if I'm saying the right terms but. Right so it's rocking a quad core 1.4 gigahertz with 3x GPU, it has 16 gigabytes of internal storage, you only get 10 out of the box, you get 2 gigabytes of RAM, 2 SIM card slots micro sd card slot android 7 and all day battery life so on the top of the phone you get a headphone jack yes it still includes a headphone jack for me the weird part is that the charging port is right next to the microphone but the microphone isn't in the center it's all the way on the left side so the like the port for the charging is all the way on the left side instead of being in the middle so the back also there's a huge ass line running through the back and it's actually the speakers the speakers on this phone are actually pretty loud but if you blast it all the way up it gets really muffly a chamfer machine going for lucky iphone 13 and then you know what else we can't tell from these dummy models is the display's refresh rate so number one item on my wish list now the display is a five inch display although the phone is a lot bigger the bezels on the bottom and the front are really huge it doesn't have physical buttons the bottom of the display has a huge bezel so i would have preferred that they would have put the buttons there since it's not really needed and it's just taking up space <music> So it's running Android 7 and it runs it perfectly fine. It doesn't really have any issues. It'll lag for like a second every once in a while. Does it look the nicest? No. Does it really matter? No. So the phone claims to have a whole day battery life and I would actually believe that. There's a very good reason why. I bought it and I put the battery in. It was at like 30% and that was like at 10 in the morning. It lasted me all the way to like 8 o'clock at night and it was at 6% 6 6 of battery and it lasted to 6% for like the rest of the night and I just charged it. I actually had it at full brightness although you don't really need to have it at full brightness because you can still see it with half a brightness. As you can see right here it's at half brightness 
and you can see the display very well. Using YouTube, it only lets you watch videos in 720p and the movies, even though it says I can watch them in 1080p, I don't think it actually is 1080p. I think it downscales it to 720. Although the display is not bad. It's honestly a really good display. It's really bright. The colors aren't super great. Playing video games is a whole different story. So you only get two gigabytes of RAM. So if you're hoping to play Fortnite, you're probably not gonna be able to because that one requires four gigabytes. Although I was able to download Warface and that one performs really well. A way to get around the whole Fortnite and the Call of Duty thing would be to use remote play. I tried connecting my PS4 controller, but it didn't work. So for gaming, this one hasn't been the best phone for it, but you can actually do it. One thing that I did find weird is when you're running Spotify, it won't actually load. Some of like the album covers will get like half cut off for some reason. As long as you have a good Wi-Fi connection, the movies work really well. And if you want a tutorial on how to get free movies, like, you know, just let me know. So the back camera is running a 13 megapixel. Is it the most amazing? No, it is super bad. Right now I'm going to take a picture of me recording a video and you guys will see if it's good or not. Although, you know, you can't get away with a few photos here and there. There's different modes in photo. Face beauty, mono, panorama, and pro. I didn't test out pro, but I don't really think it'll do any different from normal photos. Panorama, I test it out and I got this photo. And as you can see, it starts out pretty dark and then it gets really light. So it looks really weird. The mono is a black and white, which is fine. You know, I actually think the photos look better there. And face beauty just makes everything look so unclear, unclear and just nasty. talk about video video is a different story on the back camera so it says you can record up to 1080p but when I click on 1080p it says error and it doesn't let me record although 720p is still work as YouTube now says it 720p is not HD anymore so it's okay it's whatever it's I'm gonna show you guys a video on it but it's not very good hey buddy how you doing hey buddy look at me hey buddy give me five Give me five, give me five. But you're eating their grass? Is it good? Are you a vegetarian now? Ew, you're actually eating it. What the fuck? You nasty fuck. I'm just kidding. I love you. Now, one cool feature that I do like is that if you double press the power button, it activates the camera. It keeps happening to me a lot, so it's a little bit annoying. But if you did want to do it, like, that's really cool. I'm pretty sure I can take it off, so I'm probably going to. Now, we're going to talk about the front camera, which in which is an 8 megapixel. So Jocelyn, you guys know Jocelyn. I asked her to test out the front camera because I'm not much of a selfie person. So I asked her to test it out and those photos came out better than the back camera, which is weird. Although if you try to zoom in on either one of the cameras, it just looks terrible. You zoom in and you just get this photo right here. It's all nasty and it's weird. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want this phone, link down below. I really am enjoying this phone. It's it's $30 phone. You can't really complain because there's not that many bad things and the bad things are really easy to overlook versus all the good things that they have. That's it for this video. Link down below for the phone, my Instagram as well. Thank you guys for watching. I'm starting a YouTube channel with Jocelyn where it's going to be a couples channel. So if you're into that, I'll throw a link into it if it's already created. If not, I'll do it in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. For me, the weird part is that the charging port is on next. Oh my goodness, for fuck's sake, why can't I fucking talk? It doesn't really matter what the specs are, it matters how the foam, foam, per.